Last week, Northern Kentucky men's basketball dropped two home games falling to UT Martin 71-56 and a top 25 ranked West Virginia 67-42. Well, with Tennessee Martin, you know, we took a 16-14 lead and we went into a stretch, a cold stretch, where we couldn't make a shot. And I thought we had some great shots and um, just didn't make them. And in the second half, I, I felt like our defense relied on our offense. And again, we, were make, we weren't making some key shots and um, it allowed them to pull away and we didn't defend as well as we needed to. West Virginia is just a tremendous team and I thought we battled really hard in the first half being down three. Once again, the theme was had a lot of wide open, clean looks and just weren't able to make them. And it was going to be necessary to have a, a, a lead, especially when you hold them to 20 points the first half. That you know, if you're up eight to ten points and you can absorb some of their uh, some of the runs that were going to come in the second half. And we just we just were always unable to make two shots in a row just to be able to you know hang around, get close, and put some pressure on their shooters as well. Um, but I thought we played a really good 20 minutes against West Virginia, and then we, we did some things that you know allowed them just to pull away. Heading into the holiday break, the Norse will host UC Claremont on Sunday at 2 p.m. in the Bank of Kentucky Center. Then NKU hit the road for two games against UT Chattanooga on Tuesday and Moorhead State on Friday. Then return to the home floor on December 22nd for repeat bout with Idaho. Yeah, they, they've got to deal with finals. And it's an interesting week where the, the kids, are, you know, you've got to give them the opportunity just to be focused on academics because this is critical time for them. And, and then the the one really nice thing is it's it's the break where they don't have school and it's where teams can really get better. And we really need some practice days. We've had games where we have, you know, we have a day or two in between and we're always preparing for the next team. And we've not had two or three days where we've been able to just to correct some things and really work on some team things that we need to and, and correct some fundamentals. And, and so that's what we're going to be looking to do with the basketball, with the, with the practices uh, when we come off of finals. And then being able to still be at home and have a couple games that uh, we're going to be able to compete in uh, with teams that are like us that uh, Idaho we've beaten already on the road and it's going to be a tough one because as soon as we beat them a couple nights later they beat Washington State and have been playing really well since we left there so that's going to be a tough struggle for us and then you see Claremont would be a game that will match up really well and I'll have a you know our, our guys have a really good chance to win that game. The matchups against UC Claremont and Idaho will be carried live on ESPN3 with links to live stats available through nkunorse.com. As always, you can get live in-game updates by following NKU Norse Game Day on Twitter. For NKU Athletics, I'm Brad Pope.